Are you? Well, can, can I ask a question? Is it sure? No, it's not sure because this is who I am. This is who I am. You know, if I if I have something to show to the world, it's who I am, and this is exactly who I am. It's feels. From luxury watches, luxurious design clothing, private helicopter journeys, expensive dining, and then there's the cars, the women, and of course, the money. Hush puppy, take it till you make it. This is Joshua. He's hungry. Today, he's not eaten any food. Literally nothing. He's not just hungry, he's starving. So who are you? See, Joshua's only problem is that he was born in the wrong place. He didn't choose to be born here. So should he be condemned to a living hell now because of a choice he never made? Control? One man for sure opted to be defiant and take matters into his own damn hands. Uh, 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 come on. Raymond Abbas, otherwise known as Hush Puppy, erupted on the scene. Never shy to stray away from the limelight. Far from it. Instead, he embraced it. He flourished under it. The self-proclaimed Nigerian Prince of Cash and Flash. Wherever he went, he was accompanied by stares, camera snaps and flashes. No limit, no budget lifestyle. Simple psychology. He was willing to do everything it took for the ends to justify the means. Now, Hush Puppy could have been worth a billion dollars, which I think he was worth a billion dollars or whatever, right? Well, in Dubai money, do a billion dollars. Hush Puppy, he's one of the good guys. He's cool. The truth is, just as, I, just as uh, for every other person out there, if you've not met someone in person, okay. you will not know how they are, you know? And um, when I finally met him, I, I used to, for me, I used to think this guy would be a snob. This guy would, I don't think he would even care about my last city or whatever okay. or whoever, you know. But when we got to talk, we, st you know, had a hangout and it just made me understand that life is just different from the other side. The other side. When you meet people in person, you get to learn a lot about them. You get to know that, okay, these people, they are totally not what you've heard about, sure. you know. He's a very good person with a good heart and I respect him. And I had a good time. Last is the Last is the Let them know say you dey enjoy. Last is the they abuse me for Instagram. They say I know hear English. Tell them may they keep their English. Can you imagine? More will keep the money. What can English do for you? They are shouting. People were shouting on my real face. It not do anything. If my real face is alive, can you imagine? If will I will I meet touch puppy? I pity you. English or no English, and with the money. Eventually, laughters turned to agony. Throughout Hoss Puppy's lavish lifestyle, an expensive lifespan in terms of flashing and dazzling the crowd, there was huge doubt, speculation in terms of the source of his income. Where did it all come from? Hush Puppy claimed that it came from property deals. 
through his property development portfolio. Eventually, little did we know, Hush Puppy was part of a major FBI investigation. Hush Puppy would later, while residing in Dubai, be arrested by Dubai police and then will be extradited into the United States to face massive fraud charges. If you are if you're comparing with Nigeria, listen to this. Nigeria has oil before than Dubai. It's a history. They are more rich than us. They have agriculture, they have mining, they have everything, you name it, they have it. Am I right or wrong? When you have a true leadership, which we have, we have nothing, but we have everything because we have the right leadership. That's the only thing you need, a right leader for your country, not corruption. Seeing Hospa people find himself entangled in a widespread Interpol manhunt orchestrated by the FBI. Dubai police have once again solved yet another case involving an international online scammer known as Raymond Abbas, but who goes by Hush Puppy on social media platforms. In less than just four months, Dubai's police force was able to solve the new operation, dubbed Fox Hunt 2, where 12 other gang members were also arrested. Six raids were carried out simultaneously while the suspects were sleeping in their Dubai residences. After months of investigating and hours of monitoring the gang's social media accounts, a team of highly trained Dubai police officers were able to confirm the gang's whereabouts and fraudulent activities. The 38-year-old was referred to the Dubai Public Prosecution, where he was being questioned by prosecutors at the Burr Dubai section. He got charged with obtaining money from others through fraudulent means. Alongside Hush Puppy, security officers also arrested 12 other members of his gang for online fraud that targeted companies and individuals. Their modus operandi was simple. They would send out letters from email addresses almost identical to those of legitimate companies, targeting customers of these companies with the purpose of diverting payments to themselves. They ran fake businesses across several countries around the world and operated multiple bank accounts, according to a statement from the Dubai police. Dubai police have also found that the gang specialized in hacking corporate emails and sending fake messages to clients in order to redirect financial transfers and people's bank details to their own accounts. Before their arrest, Abbas and his crew members were responsible for scams amounting to 1.6 million dirhams. In the operation, police officers were also able to seize items worth more than 150 million dirhams after they claimed 21 computers, 47 smartphones, 15 storage memory devices and five hard disks containing data 1,926,400 victims. Additionally, 13 luxury cars worth 25 million dirhams were bought by Hush Puppy and his gang, using the money stolen from people who have been scammed. I just feel like when you get caught up with doing something illegal, I feel like they take your overall bag and say it was basically your whole life is fraud. Desperate to prove his innocence, Hush Puppy sought to hire the best lawyer money could buy to regain his freedom and to prove his innocence. It wasn't a surprise when he hired criminal defense attorney Gal Pesesky to defend him. The Chicago-based criminal defense attorney, who has been involved in many notable cases in the United States, said his client is not guilty. He sprang into action after reaching an agreement with Hush Puppy and has swiftly come out to claim that 37-year-old Ramon Olorua Abbas, aka Hush Puppy, runs a legitimate business as an entrepreneur and is not guilty of fraud and money laundering as claimed. 
claimed he told the BBC that the FBI kidnapped his client from Dubai and took him to America. Gal Pizaski also spoke to the Punch newspaper Nigeria and said he planned to put vigorous defense to get Hush Puppy out of the case. Hush Puppy's lawyer made the argument that in itself his extradition into the United States was a blatant illegal move by the FBI seeing how Dubai haven't got no formal agreement with the United States that dictates exhibition laws. Furthermore, his lawyer argued that it would have been more wise and just if Dubai would rather extradite Hush Puppy back to Nigeria to face crimes as opposed to extradite him into the United States whereby they have no recognized agreement. Hush Puppy's shocking arrest is also affecting Nigerians. Employers in Dubai are rejecting Nigerian job applicants. Also, job applications are appearing online where applicants from Nigeria has been singled out. Some Nigerians are being refused visas. At the same time, some websites have blocked Nigerians from accessing their website or businesses. Hush Puppy and his gang's arrest has also shocked Nigeria's anti-graft agency, Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC like Ekwe, and resulted in East German Ibrahim Magu being suspended and interrogated for crimes and his connection with Hush Puppy. Talk about the hunter being hunted. Even more doubt and uncertainty was the origins of Hush Puppy's wealth. Where did it all come from? Surely, as the saying goes, it takes money to make money. I've been looking up to Hush Puppy for a minute though. Like, I'm like, damn, this dude, he, he the GOAT. Like, this is why, if I want to be like anybody, I want to be like him. Bold claims started arising, depicting Hush Puppy as nothing more than a facade, a front, a mirage. People claim Hush Puppy from the watches, to the necklaces, to the cars, to the million dollar, billion dollar lifestyle was nothing more than a rental package with warranty. But people that don't know, they just gonna assume, oh yeah, he's broke now and this and that. That's how people think. But I just think maybe he was with, got caught up with somebody or whatever and they brought him in or however, I don't know. But I'm just like, damn, that's messed up. But I was supposed to have been going to, to Dubai when I got my passport, you know what I'm saying, to kick it with him and shit. So. Problem for my body, oh, problem for my body. I get my problem, I don't come meet you. Make nobody ask me for money. I broke, gone. I don't get in advance. I don't get, I repeat, I don't get. No matter who you are to me, no ask me for money. I broke. I'm open to receiving money. Hush Puppy's lawyer claims that the majority of his wealth came from his past property development dealings. However, others have a different narrative. They depict Hush Puppy as adapting. Fake it till you make it seem drunk. A lot of people sadly fake it on Instagram. After all, we all want to appear exciting, fabulous, and wealthy. But there are some people who take it a bit too far. And I'm not talking about any bad photoshops. I'm talking about using Instagram to help commit a cyber scam worth $430 million. It's even harder to imagine this wealth disappearing in the blink of an eye in a single arrest. Because after all, Raymond 
wasn't really a billionaire. Born in Nigeria, Raymond worked reselling secondhand clothing in the city of Lagos for most of his life. During this time, he began to cultivate an Instagram following by posting a luxurious lifestyle, a lifestyle that wasn't actually his. And truly, that's a lot easier to do than many people realize. In Russia, there's a company that offers two-hour photography sessions on a grounded private jet for $220. $24 a pop. A short private jet flight will normally run you $5,000 or so. So, if you want to look rich without really being rich, two hours on a grounded flight might seem like the more obvious way to go. Raymond gained a lot of followers by presenting a lavish lifestyle. As his social media account began to grow, so did his plan. Hush puppy, we're on to mastermind the social media game. He marketed himself as an Instagram influencer and gathered and gained a lot of following that enabled him to acquire wealth from the social media platform. From this approach, it is understood that Hush Puppy created a false narrative of his luxurious lifestyle. Instead, of purchases, Hush Puppy was merely simply renting and borrowing expensive items so he can cultivate and capture a huge following which would later gain him X amount of ridiculous money that he will later use to invest in his billion dollar cyber scam operation. Hush Puppy himself tells a similar narrative in which he explains that in his earlier years he had to solely depend on acquiring expensive luxurious things not for the purpose of oneself usage but for the purpose of redistribution that was necessary to facilitate survival intuition. Nobody did it like me. I bought almost every collection in every colors that they made Louboutins in the loafers, sneakers, everything. I even have personalized Louboutins in my name that it's for only oh, why? the entire world. Why? It, it, it's, it's because this is what I used to admire when I didn't have it. Mm. This, is, this is what I used to this is what I used to take to people. This is what I used to go and serve people who had it. I was I was I was buying it and I couldn't use it myself and I was going to sell it for to people so I can make profits, you know. So when I'm in a position where I can use it myself. Trust me, I want the best for myself. A man with nothing to lose can be a dangerous man. Harsh puppies, ambition and drive can be found in his earlier years whereby he experienced the death of his sister that possibly caused him to give up on society and its norms, ideology and practices. Hush Poppy abandoned the status quo and the laws that govern men Instead, he opted to take control of his own destiny, whereby he very much so exchanged the concept of limited freedom in exchange for autonomy, the ability to self-govern and do as he please. You have to explain to me personally why is it that my elder sister, 
the one I was immediately born after I had to die of just typhoid in Nigeria in Gagada General Hospital. Why did my sister have to die? Because my parents didn't have enough money. Why did she have to die? Because they didn't attend to her quick in the hospital. You have to answer these questions that give me pains that I go through all the time, every day in my life. You have to under, you have to be able to tell me why my parents have to suffer so much and they can't be proud of one thousand naira. It's funny because you know the say cheese comments. Somebody has said that you know Bam and Kevo and Hush Puppy, they're dummies. They went they ran to the gram and with the flashy lifestyle when that's how they got caught up. And a lot of people are blaming Hush Puppy because of the gram. Like if he would have stayed low key, he probably would have never got caught. The most most people who who is in jail for fraud for making the most money didn't even have an Instagram or a Twitter or wasn't on any of the sites or whatever. You know what I mean? I just feel like just because he got caught that they just gonna say that anyway. They gonna be like, oh, he was too flashy, or even if what if he even if he wasn't flashy, they'll just be like, oh, well, he just he was he was doing too much. Somebody always gonna have something to say when you get caught up. But guess what? This this was the sucks about the world. But when they get out and get right back on top, they go, oh, he's the GOAT, man, woo woo, this and that. This is how life is. You know what I'm saying? They just want you to just fail, basically. Perfect example, look at 6 ix 9 He was the biggest this, that, this, that in the world. Now and everybody on his dick now. I see, I mean, I see the, the whole world under this man's shit, bro. I be like, what the fuck? So I just be like, it's crazy. I just, that's just, they gonna do the same thing with bro, bro. Hush Puppy, him and his team was was caught for um, hacking emails yeah. and faking as though they needed coronavirus packages to get tested in Nigeria. Yeah. Controversies continue to surround Hush Puppy wherever he lays, whether it's in solitary confinement or out in the open. One thing's for sure, he certainly lived life to the fullest. We still have many unanswered questions. Did he really fake it all? Is he actually innocent? Was he framed? Was this a witch hunt out to get him? Or was Hush Puppy part of something more insidious lurking beneath the surface? Definitely a controversial figure, driven by nothing more than capitalist pursuits to reach mountains that no man have ever been before. Definitely one for the legacy books. Okay, you said something, when you were talking, you said you learned this. So what lesson did you learn from us? I love his dress sense. He has a very lovely dress sense. Okay. Yeah. I love his um, somewhat mm, I don't care attitude. Like he doesn't care about what people say. I try to emulate it, but I don't really, I am not that, my heart is not structured in that way. I still sometimes I feel like maybe somebody says something, oh, let's see, this is I've sent you a message, you didn't reply. Because of that, I quickly just try to reply, and I'm like, I can't reply everybody, but Hushabi is not like that. See, if he's not going to reply, he's going to reply you. Now your problem, book yourself, you know, me, you know. But he likes that, he lives the life of people cannot define me. I do whatever I want to do, I live on my terms, and you know, but sometimes I compromise mine, you know. And I feel like living that way sometimes it's, it's good because people would ask so much of you. You cannot please everybody, you know, sometimes you want to say yes to everybody and in doing you that, you yes to everybody and in doing that, you're going to just jeopardize yourself, soil your brand and it's, it's going to be worse, you know, yeah. One thing that made me cry, yeah. what well, made me glad I was that the America finally seeing a black president. Okay. So you know this cure to this pain, yeah. let's keep hope in our eyes cause in time we'll see the change. Sometimes I wish that I could go back. What motivates a man to do whatever it takes to reach high above the clouds? 
possibly in Hush Puppy's perspective, the death of his sister, possibly seeing the struggles in the slums of Nigeria where he was born, or maybe, just maybe, he broke psychologically speaking, broke, dissected, rationale and society norms, regulations and ethics and instead constructed his own rules and led himself through the path of success. To be or not to be, Hush Puppy saw action. But like, I just look at like, everybody like, man, he's gonna get 30 years, bro. What if it's his first time ever being in jail, ever? I mean, he made a bag or whatever, but I'm look, I'm thinking like, the much uh, amount of money he has, bro, to fight the case, man, he gonna be good, bro. He gonna be good. This is far from over. The chapter, the story, has just begun. Hush Poppy is still now trying to claim his innocence. Under trial, imprisoned in chains, America bound, however still hopeful to proclaim his innocence. If my real face is alive, can you imagine if you like, will I meet Hush Poppy? <laughs> I pity you, <laughs> English or no English. And with the money. Uh, 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 come on. Ha, sicker than your average. Pop a twist, cabbage off instinct. Niggas don't think shit, stink, pink gators. My Detroit players.